Hi guys, my name is James Verlotz, uh, and over the next three weeks, uh, we will be talking about Moses and the Exodus, uh, and then some of the theological ideas behind the story, and then as well as like the actual story. Um, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is going to be the story of Moses and the Exodus and the, the plagues. Um, so the story begins right at the beginning of the book of Exodus. So for those of you who have their Bible, we'll kind of walk, walk our way through this, the first handful of chapters. Um, so the first seven chapters in the book of Exodus um, kind of give us a who Moses is and what's going on with the Israelites. Um, so I'm going to send out a bunch of links to you guys. Um, and then that'll have the links for the Bible passages for those of you who don't have like a physical Bible handy. Um, otherwise, like I said, feel free to join along in your Bible. We'll be in the book of Exodus, um, which is the second book of the Bible. Um, so the first chunk, like I said, is chapters one through seven. Um, and those will be, like I said, who Moses is. Um, and it looks like a lot to read and I understand that. So I'm just going to kind of run through it real quick and give you guys some bullet, the major like bullet points, plot points of the story. So first big part is why are the Israelites in Egypt? Um, they're there because of their descendant, um, who was named Joseph. Um, he's kind of like one of the major patriarchs of the Israelites. Um, he helped Pharaoh kind of navigate a plague. Um, and that was the last story in Genesis. Um, and then he had all these kids, Pharaoh loved him and they became the nation of Israel. Um, but now the new Pharaoh is threatened by how many Israelites there are. Um, so he's kind of enslaved, was more than kind of, he has totally enslaved the Israelites. Um, and then so the most famous current Israelite in this time is gonna be Moses. Um, and he was an Israelite whose mother was really afraid that Pharaoh was gonna kill Moses. Um, so he sent him in a basket down a river um, and then she was actually, Moses was actually saved by Pharaoh's daughter, excuse me, and he was saved by Pharaoh's daughter, um, and then raised in the palace as royalty. Um, and as Moses grew older, he kind of had like a torn allegiance between those who raised him and then his blood relatives of the Israelites. Um, so when a riot broke out in Israel, um, he... Um, ended up killing an Egyptian guard um, and then both now Egyptians and Israelites didn't want Moses there so he fled um, into the country um, and then at that point in the story we get the super famous Moses and the burning bush story um, and I'm actually going to read that part to you guys right now um, so this is the bush is talking as I'm obviously the God is the bush Moses, Moses, he said, here I am. And then he said, do not come near. Take off your sandals off your feet for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. And he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face for he was afraid to look at God. Then the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters. I know their sufferings, and I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, to bring them out of the land to a good and broad land, a land flowing with milk and honey, to the place of Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jeb Jebusites. And now, behold, the cry of the people of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen the oppression for which the Egyptians oppress them. Come, I will send you to Pharaoh that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? He said, But I will be with you, and this shall be the sign for you that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. And then Moses said to God, If I come to the people of Israel and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they asked me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, say this to the people of Israel. I am has sent me to you. God has also said to Moses, say this to the people of Israel. The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. 
and thus I will be remembered throughout all generations. Go and gather the elders of Israel together and say to them, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, has appeared to me, saying, I have observed you and what you have done to you in Egypt, and I promise that I will bring you up out of the afflictions of Egypt and to the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites. And they will listen to your voice, and you and the elders of Israel shall go to the king of Egypt and say to them, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has met with us, and now please let us go on a three days journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to the Lord. But I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless compelled by a mighty hand. So I will stretch out my hand and strike Egypt with all the wonders that I will do in it. After that, he will let you go, and I will give this people favor in sight of the Egyptians. And when you go, you shall not go empty. But each woman shall ask his or her neighbor, and any woman who lives in her house, for silver and gold jewelry, and for clothing. You shall put them on your sons and your daughters, so you shall plunder the Egyptians. All right, so then after that, um, Moses returns to Egypt with the help of his brother Aaron. Um, one part of the text I didn't put in there is that Moses kind of objected to, to God sending him on this mission because Moses didn't feel like he was a good speaker. Um, and then Aaron, his brother, was considered a very good speaker, um, which is why he brought Aaron with. Um, and then Moses and Pharaoh have multiple challenges. Um, you may be familiar with like the snakes or um, Moses turning the, the water red. Um, and those are all things that we'll kind of touch on a little bit. Um, so that's like the super quick recap um, of those first seven chapters. Um, again, I encourage you to read it, but I know sometimes reading is hard, especially when you get those Bible names. So I just want to make sure you guys heard that out loud for sure. Um, and then after that, we get a little bit of the, the genealogy of Moses, but that's not super important for what we're going to talk about. Um, and the next part of the story of the plagues, and instead of me just kind of listing all the plagues off, that gets really boring. Um, the plagues actually start in chapter 7, right after we just kind of summarized. Um, and they'll go all the way through chapter 12. Um, but it, like I said, but instead of me going through them, I've got three movie clips that I'm actually going to have you guys watch. Um, two of them are from the movie The Prince of Egypt. Um, and then the third clip is from the, the movie called Ten Commandments. And they just kind of show cinematically what the, the plagues look like. Um, so I will... Make sure those guys, those links get sent out to you guys, um, and then go ahead and click on those. All right. Um, so then if you guys are curious, um, there is another movie on YouTube that's a little more modern. It's called, um, oh my gosh, Exodus and Gods and Kings. Um, it came out like five, six years ago. Um, it's pretty good. It is a little more, I don't know if you want to call it historically accurate, but live action-y. Uh, and definitely more modern than that Ten Commandments clip. Um, so that's going to be that on that part. Um, and I know we kind of went through this really fast. Um, so there's another clip on here um, that really does a good job of overview of the story of Moses. And it goes a little further into what we talked about today, but we'll definitely talk about this next week or actually two weeks because next week is easter um so this last video is called the bible project um and like i said they do a really good job of summary um and then so after you guys watch that i will have a survey that i'll have you guys fill out i'll have a couple questions um and then obviously get a hold of me either through email or um, contact kate um, she can get a hold of me if you guys have any other questions that you need me to answer that'd be great bye